Alan Turing and the research team worked incessantly at Bletchley Park to crack the German coding machine Enigma, which was the driving force of communications between the Germans during World War II. Bomb, a machine produced at Bletchley, allowed the research team to decipher messages sent between the Germans. With the newfound information Baum provided, Ultra, an allied intelligence program, had to decide what battles needed to be fought and which could be lost in order to discreetly help the Allies win World War II, while their knowledge remaining unknown from the Germans. The decisions made by Ultra could be argued as the biggest compromises of the war. In 1939, Germany invaded Poland under the rule of Adolf Hitler sparking the deadliest war fought across the world, World War II. The final solution, as Hitler would call it, became the mass genocide of Jews and anyone who opposed his authority through the Holocaust. On his quest for world domination, Hitler made strategic alliances with Japan and Italy. This trio of countries would later be known as the Axis Powers. As these treaties were formed between the Axis Powers, another came along to oppose them, the Allies. The main countries involved in this allegiance were Great Britain, the United States, China, and the Soviet Union. These countries worked together to stop the Axis powers and their reach for world power. The war lasted for six long, hard-fought years, but on May 8, 1945, Germany officially surrendered and the war was over. This devastating war led to more than 50 million military and civilian deaths. This widespread war brought catastrophe to the world, but thanks to the Allies and Ultra, an Allied intelligence project, and the coders at Bletchley Park, the war was able to be won and put to an end. Throughout the duration of the war, Germany used the Enigma machine to communicate with its counterparts in a coded language. This machine effectively allowed the transport of important information to remain secret and unknown to the Allies, until a man named Alan Turing cracked the code with his newly forged machine, Bomb. The Enigma machine was created by a German engineer, Arthur Scherbius. The machine transcribed coded information. Arthur intended for the machine to create a way for information to remain safe and secret. With this thought in mind, he sent it to Berlin, Germany to be mass produced. Little did he know, the German Navy would get their hands on this machine and it would become a vital communication device in the war. Around three years after the Navy had procured the machine, they began to produce their own version and use it to communicate secretly. In order for the machine to transcribe information, the operator must type in messages. The message can then be scrambled by turning three to five rotors or wheels. These rotors are branded with different letters of the alphabet and can efficiently encrypt information. Each rotor has 26 possible settings. These coded memos are then sent to a receiver with another Enigma machine. This receiver must know the exact setting of the rotors in order to decode the message. Once the settings are known and input it into the machine, the receiver can type the code out and successfully read the message. As time progressed, Germany added plugs and electrical circuits to their Enigma machine. This increased the complexity of the encryptions tenfold, leading to a large problem for those trying to crack Enigma. French spies were able to photograph operating manuals of Enigma. This information was then sent to Poland where a team of mathematicians managed to recreate Enigma. Copies of this machine were sent to France and England. In England, this machine was taken to Bletchley Park, the school where Enigma was finally cracked. Alan Turing, the mathematical genius who created BOM, was born in 1912. At age 16, Turing was allowed to specialize in mathematics and science, which would later lead Turing to become an undergraduate at Cambridge in 1931, studying these topics. It was here that Turing would, under inspiration from von Neumann's book, Mathematical Foundations of Quantum Mechanics and Bertrand Russell's work, would form the idea of the Turing machine. This machine would inspire Turing's bomb, which he would later develop at Bletchley Park in the mid-1900s. In September of 1939, Turing transferred to Bletchley Park for the purpose of cracking the Enigma code. Once he arrived at Bletchley, Turing was assigned to Hut 8, where he worked with a small team under order of Dilly Knox. Turing designed the bomb machine in a relatively short amount of time, and after only three months at Bletchley, Turing had worked out the pattern in which the Germans chose their naval enigma indicators. 
After only nine months at Bletchley, Turing developed a cryptanalytic reference manual known as the Profs Book around Bletchley Park. It was a year later in the summer of 1941 that the team in Hut 8 was finally able to break the vital German ship Dolphin's weather report key about every day. There was a German commander in Brittany somewhere who, during the war, regularly sent in every morning a message saying, uh, Alles in Ordnung, everything's okay here. It was the same phrase he used every morning, which was a, a godsend to the decryptors in Hut 6. Seeing as the encrypted messages sent by the Germans were in the same format each day, Turing saw the mathematical and human weaknesses in the Enigma machine and developed a method which the British used to decode part of the messages, giving them an idea as to what it said. Turing developed a sequential analysis that allowed the reduction of possible wheel orders for the bomb machine, and it was through these reductions that the key could be figured and the message decrypted. It was thanks to Turing's work at Bletchley Park and with the team in Hut 8 that cryptology was brought to the modern world, in partnership with ingenious logic, advanced technology, statistical theory, and superb organization. This formation of cryptology led to the development of the world's first computer, BOMB. Consisting of several thousand parts, the BOMB was a machine which reversed the process Enigma had done. By acting as a search engine, it crunched numbers into possible solutions of what the encrypt text was. The machine does not break the German code. Rather, it runs through segments of the code and matches it with corresponding numbers to see what the solution to the message is. Each day, Turning would enter the weather report from the Germans into the bomb machine and turn the machine on. The machine would then run through the thousands of possible settings of Enigma machine, and once it found an open circuit, that specific letter would be decoded and the machine would move on to the next crypt or letter. After Turning built his code-cracking machine, the British began making hundreds of bomb machines, and by 1945, there were over 300 of them on both sides of the Atlantic. Finally, the days of the Nazi Enigma machine were numbered. Ultra was an Allied intelligence project that tapped German communications, therefore leading to the Allies' victory in World War II. It was a code name given to the code breakers at Bletchley Park and the high-grade military intelligence they gathered. The information Ultra gathered has believed to shorten World War II by almost two years. Ultra could only be known to a select few senior officers, and it was not involved in the Allies' normal intelligence channels. Because of the Allies' discretion toward this valuable information they were receiving, sometimes from Hitler himself, the Germans never caught on to their compromised communication system. With the newfound information Bomb provided, Ultra had to decide what information could be used and what was too dangerous to. Because the team could not risk Germany discovering they had a way to decipher the code, they had to withhold much of the details from those who would take action, making this a very secretive program. The dilemma Ultra faced was when to use the facts they were given and when to keep them secret. In many cases, acting on the information would give Germany reason to believe they had deciphered their codes and would therefore cause them to find a new way to communicate. This would destroy all that the team at Bletchley Park had worked for. In other cases, they were able to use information and help the Allies face the Nazis by giving them details on attacks in specific locations vital to the Nazis. Ultra had to wonder if releasing a fact that had too many risks or if it had left the Allies with a great advantage. The team compromised every day in order to decide on what information needed to remain a secret and what information had to be used. At the Battle of Britain in September 1944, Ultra disclosed to Allied commanders there would be some of Germany's best troops residing in a town selected as a British 1st Airborne Division. There was no chance for success on the Allies' side. However, if the British would not have fought in that battle, the Germans would have known the Allies disrupted their communications, so the commanders sent the dead men in to fight. Another instance where the Allies sacrificed their troops for the good of the war was in the Battle of Atlantic. For several years, Ultra had used bomb to determine a route to send their submarines in order to avoid German U-ships. In one case, however, messages disclosed the location of a large mass of German submarines north of the Erzos. Ultra decided to take the risk of sending their submarines toward the German U-ships in order to avoid dangerous weather conditions in the south. This decision proved to be more fatal than the weather because they lost a whole fleet of Allied submarines to the Germans. 
The decisions Ultra faced were difficult ones, but without the secrecy of the information, the war would have lasted much longer than it did. The compromises and resolutions Ultra made about the information Bomb provided them helped the Allies win the war and the world to once more be at peace between countries.